Hello everyone, this is Shukesh Bonek and you are watching Gadgets Portal. After a long time, I am unboxing a new phone. It is the new Samsung Galaxy Grand i9082, also known as Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos because of its dual SIM functionality. And you are also getting Samsung Smart Dual SIM functionality. That means when you are on a call over one SIM, you can still get calls from the SIM too. Now you are also getting a Samsung flip cover which is very nice because this is a large screen phone and these kind of covers are very user friendly and also very costly as well around 1500 Indian rupees that means around 30 USD. Here is the pricing information the local market price is around 21,400 that means around 400 USD and the color of this particular device is elegant white. Well friends now let's get started with the unboxing and here is the device a huge device with very nice look and also with very good pricing this phone is also feeling very solid in hand let's put this aside for a while and let's check what are the things inside first of all you are getting is this very beautiful looking flip case the back panel of this case is looking almost same as the one on this phone and well they are almost same same color same design though the camera part of this is kind of raised actually the front cover is also very soft providing very good protection to your phone so overall very good premium quality case you are getting free with this device which is absolutely fantastic here is the battery for this device which is of 2100 milliamp hour which is obviously very decent for a device like this here is the cable for charging as well as data syncing and the good thing is that it is in black color so it will not get dirty as easily as the one i got on the galaxy note 2 here is the headset with the gold plating on the 3.5 mm jack here are the earpieces and well this is basically the same headset you get with galaxy note 2 and the sound quality of this headset is pretty decent here is the jack with the gold plating and here is the remote with sound control buttons and also call answer and key you are also getting some extra earbuds of different sizes and here is the charging adapter which is very compact and the usb port is on the side not on the back here are some booklets you are getting as well so that's all in this packaging now let's get rid of these things here and let's have a quick look at the device well this device resembles galaxy note 2 and also galaxy s3 a lot let's first get rid of this protective plastic and as you can see the glass is very reflective so this may attract a lot of fingerprints let's get rid of this protective plastic on the back as well well the back cover is not very glossy there is probably some plastic coating on the back cover to make it non-slippery as you can see the back cover on the galaxy note 2 on the left is very glossy unlike this one on the galaxy grand so very good thinking by samsung the front look is almost same though the home key is a little bit different as you can see and the bezel is also a little bit thick on the galaxy grand the thickness of these two phones and also the metallic bezel is also almost same so samsung has not put any cheap quality material on this galaxy grand though it is much cheaper than this galaxy note 2 and also galaxy s3 now friends let's have a quick hardware tour and after that i will show you the display and also the ui here is the huge 5 inches display with only 800 by 480 pixels resolution at the rate of 187 ppi and I think this is the only disappointing factor on this device. Well here is the earpiece and you are also getting some sensors over here. This is the front facing 2 megapixel camera and this is a dual sim phone so this duos logo. Here at the bottom you are getting is the hardware home key which is a little bit raised from the base. The back and the menu buttons are hidden under the base. Here on the back side you are getting is a 8 megapixel autofocus camera with an LED flash and as it is a little bit raised it will actually protect the back cover from scratches. 
though you should be very careful about the camera lens here is the large speaker grill and the back cover as i mentioned before is very soft there is a coating on the back cover this is the power as well as the lock unlock key and the placement is very good it is just under the thumb here is the 3.5 millimeter headset jack and i don't see any secondary microphone over here here is the volume rocker and here on the bottom you are getting is the micro usb port for charging as well as data syncing the placement of this volume rocker is not very good you can reach every part of the display with your thumb while handling this phone with one hand though you have to try hard the display glass as you can see is a fingerprint magnet there is probably no coating for resisting fingerprints overall the hardware of this phone is very good especially the front look is very soothing to the eyes now let me attach this flip cover and show you a demonstration here is the sim card slot 2 and here is the sim card slot 1 looks like this one is hot swappable but i can't actually comment here before testing now let's attach the battery and then i'll show you the flip cover here it is and the dimension the attachment and also the quality of this flip cover is very good i have no complaint about it this cover is giving a very premium look to this phone well here it is ultimately and as you know this phone is running on android jelly bean that is android version 4.1 the user interface is just the same as Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy S3, etc. That is the Samsung Touch with Nature UX, which is absolutely brilliant. Most advanced user interface on a mobile phone yet. Here is the lock screen with very nice ripple effect because this UI is inspired by nature. Here are some quick launch apps along with the notification bubbles over here. You can launch them just by swiping on the screen. You can also access the notification window right from your lock screen so these kind of things are very very user friendly and here is the messaging i'll show you this later there are actually a lot of brilliant features on this user interface well let's first change this wallpaper to make the phone more camera friendly well the display is now looking more colorful and i can show you the actual capability of the display from this normal distance the display is looking pretty good but from a shorter distance as you can see you can easily notice the pixels the pixels on this display are very crisp unlike super amoled and the color reproduction is also looking pretty good the text are looking okay but not the very best well i will approve this display only because of the fact that because of this lower resolution display you are getting this device at 21,000 or 21,500 rupees so you should not complain about it that much and overall this display is obviously usable the display is huge so you will not be looking at this display from a shorter distance so overall this display is not bad at all the jelly bean version is 4.1.2 and the kernel is 3.0.31 as you know this jelly bean version is a result of google's project butter so everything should be very swift and butter smooth the internal memory before installing any application is only 3.94 gb and 3.68 gb is user available now let me show you the ram information and as you know from the specifications it has got 1 gb of ram which is again excellent for a device with this price tag the user available ram at this moment before opening any application is 494 mb which is also very good this intensive user interface and also the pre-installed applications are actually eating up a lot of space but still the free space is enough for normal uses and also hardcore gaming here on the notification window you are getting a lot of toggle switches which can be customized you are getting all the basic ones along with some handy ones like the blocking mode and also the power saving mode and also this multi window feature that can be launched just by long pressing the back button 
you can also long press on any one to edit now you can also long press on the notifications to get the app info and also you can uninstall these applications if you can so these things are very handy for blocking spam softwares you can manually control the brightness and also there is an auto feature though you can't actually control the auto brightness preference which is a feature of galaxy note 2 so samsung has not put all the features of note 2 on this device but at this moment i don't want to comment on this i'll use this device thoroughly and make a full in-depth review so don't forget to subscribe here are the seven home screens you can rearrange and also make anyone your default home screen now friends let me show you the dialer on this device you are getting dual call creation keys with different colors and also a video calling option right on the dialer which is pretty nice here is the call and sms logs and here are the contacts you are obviously getting all the gesture supports of touchwiz user interface like swipe to call and swipe to message let's check the messaging option you are obviously getting the threaded view and this phone also supports a lot of gestures i'll show you all of those in the in-depth review as you can see the pixels are looking a little bit pixelated from a shorter distance but because of this larger display everything is looking pretty large and also very intuitive let's try the keyboard well this is actually the handwriting window and here is the full qrt keypad writing on a large screen phone like this with one hand may not be very suitable let's try it well it is not that bad but you have to actually use it for a while to get used to this you can obviously use continuous input which is faster and also more intuitive now let's check the apps menu you are getting these pre-installed applications out of the box and some of these are very handy like this flipboard over here is a very very good application and also very good widget you are also getting fm radio and samsung app store over here which actually shows you the best applications for this device you are also getting samsung's own voice assistance service that is the s voice which is available only on the flagship models of samsung so pretty good you are getting s planner and also s memo premium apps from samsung as well so samsung has not left any kind of premium feature on this device let's quickly check the s memo i personally use galaxy note 2 and i use this feature a lot i am telling you friends this feature on a large screen phone is very very useful sometimes and you can obviously buy a capacitive stylus which will make this feature more user friendly you are also getting a lot of brush types or pen types and also a lot of color options so very handy stuff from samsung you can also use the keyboard and also a lot of other stuffs i'll show you all of these in the in-depth review so overall this is a fantastic device with absolutely brilliant user interface and also very good hardware the front look the back look everything is very smart and also very simple the only drawback is the lower resolution let me show you a relatively high resolution display though the resolution on this note 2 is not the very best and as you can see from this normal distance there is no difference actually but from a shorter distance you can easily notice the pixels on the galaxy grand but you should not forget that because of this lower resolution you are getting this device at this price tag this device is going to be very popular among the gamers because of its very nice dimension and also very good hardware thanks to its 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor and 5 inches very colorful display i'll upload a gaming review on this device shortly so keep in touch well friends thanks for watching so far and i'm going to show you something different now and i'm going to show this for the first time on a review so i am pretty excited i have started my own website at gadgetsportal.in so i'm going to show this on this device and i hope that you will like it i have tried something new on this website 
to make it user friendly both on mobile phone and also computer so let's get started I have launched it on 31st January 2013 and still working on it here it is I hope that you are liking it a lot I have tried my best to make it informative and also very user friendly actually this site is still in beta a lot of new features are yet to be added here is my old logo so if you are really liking it then go visit it it is at gadgetsportal.in double tap to zoom and also pinching is working nice on this galaxy grand you are getting a lot of options and i have also added this top apps and games and as you know i have already started another new channel called gadgets portal play which is available at youtube.com slash gadgets portal play where i show you top applications top games available on the google play store and i upload one video every sunday so don't forget to visit that channel and subscribe i have also added this top phones and tablets option in three different price brackets and i have also subdivided it here is the very special buying helps menu where you can post your queries about any mobile phone i have reviewed and i will take some time every day to answer your queries you can comment from your facebook account at this moment next menu option is the camera samples i'll upload full sized camera samples without editing so that you can get the exact idea about the camera quality now under the knowledge portal option you're also getting this upcoming gadgets option where you can actually get an idea about the upcoming gadgets with full specifications on the detailed specifications table i have added a special column writing about my personal view about the categories of these phones i have already reviewed so that you can get a clear idea about each and everything on this device like the display quality the processor type the ram each and everything whether they are good or bad i have also added this other feature option and also these strong points weak points and also suitable for option what i describe about the pros and cons and also i have added some ratings like value for money rating and also camera rating etc you can also get the video review links direct from here and also some high quality product photos i will click myself and i have already told you this site is still in beta so a lot of features may not work i am working very hard to make it full feature very soon and here are the product photos a lot of new features are yet to be added on this site i'll add them one by one you're also getting the camera samples option right here so everything on this site is very intuitive here is my facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal so don't forget to like this page and also subscribe to the original channel that is youtube.com slash gadgets portal so i hope that you have liked this website so don't forget to suggest this website to your friends and also keep in touch well now let's get back to the review so far this is a very fast device all the applications opened very fast as you have seen and the software on this device is absolutely brilliant this is the most advanced and also most intuitive user interface you can find on any mobile phone at this moment i suggest you to watch the tips and tricks series videos on the galaxy note 2 to get an exact idea about the brilliance of this user interface you can find the links of those videos in the description and you can also wait for the in-depth review and also the gaming review and some special videos i am going to upload about this mobile phone so don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch you can also like this video comment in the comment section if you have any query and also visit my brand new website gadgetsportal.in for more info and updates so friends that's all for today see you in the next video bye bye and take care